Hello and welcome everyone to another InventRight.com TV show. My name is Andrew Krause. I'm the co-founder. Today we're going to talk about New Year's resolutions. And hey, if you're not watching this on New Year's, this applies all year long. Okay, so uh, what are some of the things that inventors aren't doing? What should your resolutions be? And if I had to put it really simply, it's to push yourself beyond your comfort zone. And we all have different comfort zones. So some of you have literally never gone beyond the thought in your head. You haven't even put it on paper. You haven't tinkered with the prototype. You haven't filed a provisional patent. You haven't done your research on the internet. You haven't looked at the product category that your product is in to look at the other products to see how you need to tweak or change your idea. Um, some of you have done all that. Everybody's at a different step. So if I'm going to simplify what you need to do is you need to go beyond what you've done before. You need to push yourself beyond where you are. If you just have a thought in your head, you need to go beyond that. If you're just filing patents and making prototypes, you need to go beyond that. Um, and ultimately, when you're truly in the game, your news, news resolution should be contacting companies. Doing all the things that we teach at InventRight, so you're contacting companies. That should be your New Year's resolution. That's what you have to do. It's just that simple. You don't, and, but a lot of people don't know what they don't know. They don't know what the next step is. They're stuck going around and around in a circle with the things they've been doing before. So um, now Steve and I, we've kind of joked we're professional get around stuckers, which is terrible English, um, but we're really good at getting people unstuck. So if you want to sign up for our program, I'd love you to sign up for our program. If you go to inventright.com. The personal coaching bootcamp is amazing. Um, but if you just want to keep doing it on your own, I encourage you to learn what those steps are. Watch the YouTube show, read our book, One Simple Idea, get an idea of what the next steps are. So you have to realize also that most of licensing and selling your ideas to big companies is not the ideation, not the creation of the idea. Um, it's the work. It's the sweep in the floor. It's the contacting the companies. It's the filing the provisional patent. It's the, which you can do by yourself, by the way. Um, it's making a sell sheet, making a video. Those are the things that are going to move you forward. Uh, doing other things that are just, you know if you're moving forward, right? Like if you keep doing the same thing and you loop back to another idea, another idea, another idea, and you keep doing those things and you're not contacting companies, you know you're going in circles, right? Uh, another thing that people do is they linger. So some people go in circles until they get to their end of the process with each idea and then others will just linger and linger on one idea for, for 10 years. You know, so if you're going in circles and getting to a point and stopping and then working on another idea, or you're lingering on one idea for way too long, maybe way too long for you is two months or two years or 10 years, you know, it's different for everybody. Um, I, I, I think, you know, really, once you know how to do stuff, after two or three or four months, you, sh you should be calling companies. You come up with an idea, you should be in front of companies for most products within two, three months, max. Um, so make your news resolution to push yourself beyond your comfort level. And in order to do that, you need to know what to do, right? So read our book, watch our YouTube show, or sign up for our program. But the steps are, I have the desire to push myself beyond my comfort level and go beyond what I've done before. Then once you have that desire, you have to learn what that is and then you have to take action and do it. So try to make that your news resolution. I hope you found this helpful. Take care, keep inventing, and we'll catch up with you in the next show. See ya, bye. Hi, this is Stephen Key, and I just wanna thank you for watching InventRight TV. We're here to save you time, save you money, and show you how you can bring your products to market through licensing. So please, subscribe down below, click on the button, and tell your friends. Thank you.